to London Rain 2008 Rise Festival. We're here. I think it's Sunday the 13th of July. Just gonna do some more filming. Last time we caught East Barna Festival a couple weeks back. So just gonna see what's happening today. We've caught it a bit late, you know what I'm saying? Like it's about 8 o'clock. And I don't know when the thing started, but I think it's gonna be coming to a close quite soon. But we're just gonna see what kind of footage we can get and just keep you posted in it. Hold tight. So I'll just ask you a few questions about the Rice Festival and what you've enjoyed and how long you've been here. We've been here since about 3 o'clock today and we've been loving the drum and bass over there. And some bashment that turned into some Indian music. <laughs> There's been a bit of hip hop and African stuff. There's some Asian dancing. There's a lot of activity. And what's been your highlight of today? Um, there weren't really any famous people here. I mean, I saw Bashi and Kelly the Rock. Alright, let me ask you, what's been your highlight of today? Um, seeing Bashi. And, and speaking to Double S as well. I think Double S is so nice. Okay, so what would you say was like the ultimate highlight of today? Us. Us being here. Yeah. Um, Us, the people. Never mind them, but it was nice. It didn't rain, so everything was just like yeah, mellow. Yeah, Everyone just alright. Everyone's cool, it's yeah. nice, it's nice. No vibes, nothing. Right. Oh, so you're saying that you look at the highlight today. You get a couple of men that try to move to you and whatnot? Well, obviously. <laughs> For man to be joining us or anything, but, but it's a good we enjoyed yeah. ourselves. We had a little dance, had something to eat. That was it, really. So you didn't, you didn't give out no numbers, no. <laughs> well, oh, don't lie to me, now. Be honest. <laughs> they did. Ladies. Oh, yeah. I don't. No, know. they did. Okay. Any man to try music today? Yes. How old do I look? Huh? How old do I look? I don't know about uh, 21. Five year olds have been trying to move to me today. Five year olds? And did you give out your number at all? No. I didn't. And how many guys have tried to move to you today? <laughs> oh, um, I will not answer that question. So much. Is it zero or more than five? <laughs> more than five. <laughs> and how many times have you given out your number? More than five. No, well, one. More than five. One. She gave out her number more than five times, you know. Hey, guys, if you see this girl here and you move to her, she gave out her number more than five times, yeah. Huh? <laughs> People and everyone want to drink super malt. It's free. You've been giving away free all day, or is it just at the end? All day. All day. All day free. Swear down. All day free. So I'll uh, take it you are running low on, on stock right now, isn't it? We've been here from 12. It's 8.30. We're going home. You're going home. These are the last two for you two. Alright, cheers. It's cold. You can have the warm one. Ah, cool, 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 cool. Cheers, 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 cheers. I'm here with an upset fan because she's not happy that they pulled a plug on Jimmy Cliff. So I'm just going to get her to tell me what exactly happened today. Um, well, basically, he came on 20 minutes late after you know this long uh, public event, which is a public event, a free event. Um, and uh, obviously, you know, these, these things happen. Um, and apparently, uh, they switched him off in the middle of his set, in the middle of his song, without any kind of warning or, or uh, speech or any, anything like that. Um, I've never seen such a disrespectful treatment of such a, a legendary artist. I'm really, really upset they treated him that way. Anyway, um, then uh, a guy comes on the mic about five minutes later and says that if they'd gone over time, then they would have been fined thousands of pounds. Yeah. So what I failed to see is why a public sponsored event that must have something to do with the council is going to be fined by the council if it goes over time, which is finding itself, basically. I've never heard, you know, it's ludicrous. Okay, and how long have you been coming to this festival? Um, ever since it started, I've been, I go to all the, um, I went to Arafest, the very first anti-racist alliance festival, you know, I've been going to festivals in, for, in London for 20 years, you know, and I've never seen such disrespectful treatment of a crowd or an artist. So, I take it there's nothing positive that you want to take away from today? It was absolutely wonderful, but they spoiled it for everybody. And the thing is, as well, is that if they they cut off Jimmy Cliff, 
the fuck? Yo, listen, I come here. Listen, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't come far. Yeah, I live in Finsbury Park, but I wanted to see Jimmy Cliff. I wanted to see. I wanted, I wanted, I wanted to see. Yo, listen, I wanted, I wanted to listen to Many Rivers to Cross. That's what I went when I when you couldn't do Many Rivers to Cross. When I realised you wasn't gonna do Many Many Rivers to Cross, I burst into tears. That's the shit. That's the shit. That's the shit. That's the shit I was waiting for, and they cut him off before that. I was dead. Yeah, really that's what I'm saying. Anyway, what are you, you filming for anyway? Oh, really? I'm gonna produce a DVD. I've had a wicked day, yeah. We all had a great day until they did that. Love and peace in London, yeah. Stop killing each other. Love it. See you later. Bye. So let the words of me or may not already know there's been a lot of stabbings killings in London recently and I'm here with one of London's resident citizens just trying to get a little insight into what's been going on just tell me what you think of the whole youth violence that's going on right now well I think I think those um, children I think those children they need um, they need love um, basically I think in this is my opinion um, I think they've been abandoned by their parents and their relatives, you know, uncles, aunties, cousins, friends. I think they need someone to care them, you know, someone to give them love. And if they get the love, I think those kids, they will, they will put down the knives, you know, and um, they, they, they just need someone to carry them. They, they need someone to look after them, you know. And the, yeah, that's, that's what respect, I think, yeah. Respect, man. Respect, man, respect. All right, cheers, man. Appreciate it. All right, cool.